And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about a game that I got at Target called Bugs in the Kitchen. Now, Bugs in the Kitchen uses the nano bug tech, the hex bug nano technology, and it was a game that I actually probably normally wouldn't have considered, but in this case, I saw some video reviews of it. Dan King did one for the Dice Tower, so I thought, hey, that looks like a really fun game. And so we played it. Let's show you how to play it, and then we'll tell you if it was fun or not. When you take the lids off Bugs in the Kitchen, the game is actually there for you. Now you have to snap on all the different spoons and knives and forks, and you can see that they're, they're pretty easy to tell apart, and they fit on very easily. There's four containers here. I mean, you need the box for the game, essentially. Now, you're playing a four-player game, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to make this little nano bug. So here's the little nano bug, who, incidentally, the game comes with an extra battery, which is kind of cool. If you're playing with two players, or let's say you're playing with three, you're just going to block, use these things to block off some of the spots on the board. And other than that, the game comes with a die and a bunch of bug tokens. So here's how the game works. You first are going to turn on the bug and he starts vibrating and you put him in the middle like this and he's going around. Then what players are going to do is on a player's turn, they're going to roll the die and they're going to look at what they've rolled. Here I roll a spoon, so I simply will take a spoon and turn it. Then the next player grabs the die and rolls a question mark, which means they can move anything, they turn anyone they want. Nine. And then now you roll, Ruby. So Ruby spends a while to roll. What'd you roll? What is it? It's a spoon. Spoon, all right, move a spoon. Uh, this. Go ahead, pick one and move it. Okay, uh, Violet, your turn, go. Anything. Okay, then I'll go, and I can move anything I want, so I'll move this knife. Come on, bug. Come, the papa. Woohoo! Who is that? That's me. Ah! Okay, so then you turn the bug off, and I would get one of these. Ah! Now, <laughs> you can set the board up in different, they have different various, uh, Configuration. Let me show you another one like this. This this one here. Um. <gasps> Daddy, that looks. That looks what? Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. Wait a minute. That's the exact same one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, it's it's different. I think. Oh yeah, it is. Well, we need we still need to have a middle square, so we'll do this. All right, here we go. This time we're gonna play an alternate way, which is where you don't want the bug to come into your zone, okay? So I'm gonna roll, I don't want the bug to come in, so I'm gonna make the bug go this way. Holly, your turn. Holly rolls a knife. Go ahead, Ruby. <laughs> daddy. No, we're not gonna make it get daddy. All right, Ruby, you can do anything you want. What is it? Anything. Okay, Violet. Anything you want. Hmm. Wait, why are you doing mine? <laughs> All right. So then my turn. I can do a knife. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was actually a bad move on my part. All right, hurry up, Holly. Go. Another knife. Ruby, your turn. <laughs> you want to see Daddy, Ollie? No, you see me. Okay. Okay, your turn, Violet. Oh, are you? Whose one is this? That's yours. And a uh, fork. Go, go, go. Ah. All right. And I'll go real quickly. And this. And I'll turn that one. Holly, your turn. Go. And a spoon. Okay. Ruby, go. Okay. Roll the knife. Violet, go. Ruby, roll the knife. Move a knife. Okay. Violet, anything you want? You roll the question mark. Yeah, pick one. Come on. There we go. A question mark. I'll do this one. Oh! I need daddy. You what? I love. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks. Anyway, that's how you play. 
Now, Melody and Amy are off at a softball game, so they can't tell you whether the game was fun or not, but these guys can tell you whether they liked the game or not. We'll start with Holly. Holly, what did you think of the game? I liked it because mostly I liked the cricket, how it moves, and it's fun to play the game to get it in your thing to win. All right. Violet, do you like the game? Yeah, because it, I just really like moving the spoons to try and get in other people's and trying to get in mine to win, too. Okay. Ruby, what about you? Did you like it? Uh-huh, because we move the bricks and knives and spoons and the cricket moves because they love it to go in yours and how these are in mine. Oh, okay. Do, do you want Mommy to win? Okay. Because they love her, too. Oh, because you love her, too. All right. Well, here's the deal. The game itself is, is a fantastic game. I mean, this is a game that you just play over and over again. Adults play, kids play. This is just an absolute fantastic game. Go get it now. A couple things. You want to set some ground rules on when you can move things. Like, can you sit there and roll and then just sit there and wait because you know it's going to go in someone else's? We play that you have to move or else the die goes to the next person. And also, you have to remember to grab that die right away and roll it. you got to keep the game moving faster. The one we showed you is a little slower than I like, but I'm also playing with younger kids. But when you're playing with adults, grab that die, roll it, get moving. Then, you know, can you touch the bug? You, you shouldn't, but I mean, sometimes you want to move one that the bug bumps into. So you have to kind of make your own house rules on that. There's not a whole lot in there. I personally prefer the make it go into somebody else's uh, uh, hole because I think I find that more entertaining, but they're both a fun way. It's a really cool idea. It's really fun and easy to implement. And as you can see, all the way from ages uh, four, you're four, right? <laughs> four all the way up to who knows how old. It works for all ages, a great game. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah.